for thousands of generations, the gunslingers were knights, sworn to protect us from the coming of the dark. What's up dudes, Harry Even here, and I am back today with another book review. And today, I'm reviewing... Stephen King, The Gunslinger, book one of the Dark Tower series. Uh, I was looking for a new book, and I saw the trailer for The Dark Tower, The Gunslinger, and I figured I'm going to have to give this book a read. The trailer looks amazing. Hopefully the book is amazing. Uh, the last Stephen King book I read was The Stand. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So uh, I thought I'd give this one a go. Now, this book was initially released as a set of short stories, uh, there's a whole intro in it, between 1978 and 81. Uh, it was then published in book format in 1982, and Stephen King later came and revised it in 2003, into the edition which I have now. So Stephen King set out to do his own masterpiece, his grand finale, his greatest book collection, and this is what he came up with. Uh, this is book one, The Gunslinger. It's a very short book, uh, 238 pages long is how long this book is. Um, it starts off, I, I, I like the uh, intro, the very first words actually. Um, I'll get to it so I can read it out to you. It starts off, the man in black fled across the desert and the gunslinger followed. Interesting start. <laughs> um, it took me a lot longer to read this than I thought it would actually. 238 pages, so it's not a very big novel, but it did seem to take me a while to read it for some reason. I really enjoyed it. It is a fantasy, and when you hear the gunslinger, you think of Western. Uh, when you read this, it's like a Western fantasy or non fiction involves that the world emerges around the gunslinger who is chasing the man in black. and the world reveals itself around him as you're following this gunslinger. You don't know anything at the start. You just know this gunslinger is determined to chase the man in black. It is a very, very good book. The world he's built, just from this book alone, this is like an intro, I suppose. This book, almost like an intro to it. I can't wait to read the second book to find out what happens and where the journey takes the gunslinger, which is Roland, Roland of Gilead. Um, he is a cowboy. He's the last gunslinger live he's legendary very legendary and he's very determined to chase the man in black the man in black very mysterious a sorcerer has the power to raise the dead but not for good for example at one point he raises a weed eater uh, a guy who eats devil grass who has an addiction uh, he raises him from the dead not because he's died and because he deserves to raise again but because he knows that this man is consumed by his addiction and he'll forever be addicted to eating and eating and eating this weed grass and make himself ill and ill and ill and he will forever live with it and it would be worse fate for him than dying so uh, this is the man in black uh, I want to give you don't want to give you too many parts of the story I'd like you all to read it yourself uh, the gunslinger so aka Roland of Gilead is chasing the man in black and this world is almost like a western set setting so it's like a very western deserty the towns he comes into the saloon bars but it's not a western there's all sorts in here there is uh slow mutants in this world which are creature creatures uh, mut mutants basically have mutations uh threaded stock which is non-mutated animals so they're very rare in this world it's almost like a post-apocalyptic world i'll say they're living in so there is hints of electricity and past engines and things in there but things have moved on since then, and this world is, they survive how they survive. I definitely, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a very, very good read. I'm looking forward to the second one. I would definitely like to read this one again, just so I can make sure I picked up everything in it. Uh, I, I wasn't raptured the whole way through. I was interested the whole way through, and I suddenly got to the end, and the end, ending was amazing. I was just, wow, good reveal. It's called The Dark Tower. Now, you don't find out too much about The Dark Tower until the very end, uh, which I quite like. 
the whole this whole book is about a journey every fantasy seems to be about a journey but this book is about the gunslinger it's about his journey across the desert chasing the man in black why is he chasing him that's what we need to read to find out dark tower what is a dark tower we need to read it to find out i don't want to give any spoilers uh in this review i just want to give my honest review my honest review is it is a very good post-apocalyptic fantasy and i'm very interested in this character who he's wrote about the book is only 238 pages long it only centers upon three really main characters which is the gunslinger the man in black and a boy called jake who's not from the world that he was in he was dragged into that world maybe through the, through the man in black who he's put in the, in the way of uh, the gunslinger who knows i thoroughly enjoyed it it's good fantasy i am really looking forward to the film now i've read the book uh i'm more looking forward to reading the next books um i saw a trailer for the film before i read the book so to me the gunslinger is Idris Elba and the man in black is Matthew McConaughey. So, McConaughey. <laughs> uh, that's how I saw it in my mind when I read the book. And I really look forward to both the film and the next book. And I will be back with you guys with another book review next week. Till next time, guys. Take care.